Hi everyone and welcome to Jane's Tutorials. Today in my tutorial I will be showing you how to make this really cool slip um, slip link bracelet. Sorry, I lost the name for a second. But if you look really close in there, there is the slip knot design and the fishtail design on the, on the back. But it's kind of like a slip knot design, a fishtail, and then single on the side. So it's really cool. Um, but again, it's called the Slip Link Bracelet. I did this one in rainbow. So, let's get started. Um, you're going to need three colors of bands today or more. I'm just going to be using three colors today. Um, but you can use as many as you want. I used a lot of colors for the rainbow one. Um, so you're going to need three colors, a C-clip, and a loom and hook. You can use any loom. But let me just say, we're going to be using four pins today. Sorry, I'm going to use these four up here. And if you have a crazy loom, wonder loom, band loom, anything like that, and your base isn't open, you can still make the bracelet, just pull it out the side. I'm going to pull mine through the bottom, though, because I have an open space. Anyway, let's get started. So you're going to start with your arrows pointing down, or you can do it this way or sideways like this. I'm going to do it this way. So we're going to use four pins. We're going to use one, two, three, four. And you're going to take your first color on here, mine was fuchsia, and I'm going to take it, and this is going to be the slipknot color, and whatever color you want the white to be, I'm going to tell you when to do that. But first, we're going to take the slipknot color. Mine is going to be um, orange. And we're going to place it horizontally. Now take your next color. This is also going to be the slip knot color, but I'm just going to take another band, pull it here. Now take your hook, and we're going to transfer this band over on this side. So now you should have something like this. Sorry if the camera is not the most clearest, but um, now we're going to take the band that you want the white to be here, and we're going to take it and loop it across all three pins in a triangle shape. Take your hook and loop up these two bottom pink bands, and then take your hook and loop up these bottom two bands. So you should have something like this. So now we're going to take another horizontal band place it across, take another vertical band, and place it vertically. And we're going to do the same technique. Take this band, move it here, and now we're going to loop up the green band. And you can see your bracelet starting to form here. Um, if you're using the same pegs, pegs as I am, I'm going to pull it this way. So now we're going to place the band that we want the white to be across all three pins in a triangle shape. So now loop up the two pink bands and those bands. So I'll show you again. Let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe that'll help. Um, place a horizontal band place a vertical band. Now take your hook and loop it over. Now loop up the bottom bands. That band didn't want to come up. So now you should have both of your loops here and two bands on these pegs. So now we're going to take another band and loop it across like a triangle. And in case you're wondering what bands I have, I'm using Glow Bands. They are not Rainbow Loom brand, but they are still fairly good. They're not the most strongest bands. You will have a lot of tension on them, but they are not the strongest. I tried to do a big project with a lot of bands underneath, and it just broke. It was only like three bands underneath, so they're not the strongest. But they're pretty, and I like them. And I was in need of some pink bands, so I just got them. 
because they come in a pack of 400 with white, green, um, orange, and pink. Uh, they come with some C-clips, I'm pretty sure, and a hook. I'm pretty sure, too, they come with a hook. So now you can see your bracelet forming, and on this side you can see the slip knot effect. But we're just going to continue this process. Now we're going to place our white band. And just loop up the bottom. And now we're going to place a horizontal band and a vertical band. And pull this band over here. Loop up the bottom. Pull on your bracelet a little bit. Now just to let you know, I'm not going to do the full bracelet because that would take a long time. Um, so you're just going to continue this. But I will show you how to close it off. So I'm just going to make it a little mini sample. And I think I'll do this two more times. So I'm going to place a horizontal band and a vertical band. Now take your hook and loop this band over to this peg and loop up the bottom. Squish it down a little bit and pull on your bracelet. So I really like the look of this bracelet. It's pretty similar to my Lacy Slipfish bracelet. Oh, and by the way, these bands are available at Target in case you're wondering. So now I'm going to show you this one more time. If you still need help, please rewind the video because this bracelet is really cool. And I don't want you guys to miss out on how cool it is. <laughs> okay, now we're going to place our, I'll call it my white band. Since it is the band that's going to be the white on my bracelet and loop up. So now you should have something like this, and this is one side, and this is the reverse side. You can see a little slip effect right there. And I really like that fishtail and slip knot look to it. I absolutely am, like, totally in love with that look. I love all bracelets like that. But anyway, now we're going to finish it off. Why did I zoom out? I don't know why I zoomed out. Okay, anyway, now after we've placed the band that is our white color here, we're going to take all these bands onto our hook. So now you should have like three loops here. And if you want to, you can string another band through or you can just attach your C-clip. Um, right now, since all these bands are really tense, I think I'm going to slip another band through. Slip these bands through, and now just attach my C-clip. Wow, they're really tense. So there we go. Why is that band sticking up? Mm. Anyway, there is your bracelet. And again, I only made a sample because it would take me a long time to have made the full bracelet. Um, I don't have a camera that can um, rewind or pause or whatever. So anyway, I really like the look of this bracelet, and I hope you guys do too. And if this tutorial helped you out, and you ended up with this bracelet, and you enjoy my tutorials, please give it a big thumbs up, and also subscribe if you like rainbow looming. For, and also, um, when you subscribe, you'll be receiving emails, or you should be receiving emails, from YouTube that I have posted new videos. Um... If not, then that's at least what YouTube does to me for the channels I subscribe to. So if it doesn't for you, I don't know, maybe I'll look into it. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, that's basically it. Oh, and also, right, or just before I made this video, I made some... DIY gummy fruit snacks and if you're wondering what channel I got that from it was so craftastic thank you so craftastic because they look really great and I bet they'll taste really good too 
So anyway, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!